Hello children, good morning. I hope you all are safe at your home and eating healthy. Myself, Ms. Kunjan Daswani from Ship Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. And I welcome you all to the e-learning classes of English Grammar, the revision of chapter number 5, Verbs. So you must be thinking, what are verbs? So verbs, a verb is that part of a speech which tells about an action or a state of being. Every sentence has a verb. So in your junior classes, you must have studied about verbs that action words are called verbs. But today you'll see that how this verb is used in a sentence. So we can require, it is not compulsory that there should be only one verb in a sentence and without a verb, a sentence is incomplete. So let's look at this example. Neha eats fruit daily. So here the action that is done by Neha is eat. So eat is the verb. So in this type of sentence, you can see Ram is eating fruits. As I said, it is not necessary that there should be only verb one, one verb in a sentence. There can be more than one word, verb too. So here we are having two verbs. That is, is eating because eating is the main verb and is is the helping verb. So here are two, here in this sentence there are two verbs. That is, Ram is eating fruits. So let's see how these words are used are, and are expressed in a sentence. Some verbs express actions as you have studied in your junior classes that action words are called verbs. So here see the sentence Sahil goes to school daily. So here what is the action being done by the subject that is Sahil. Sahil is going to school. So goes is the verb over here. So in this sentence you can see she walks in the park. So what is the action being done by her that is Walks. So, walks is the verb. So, now let's see there are different forms of the verb be and have. You must be thinking what are the forms of, what is the be form of the verb, what is the have form of the verb. So, let's see. So, be form of the verbs are is, am, are, was, were, been and being. So, as you have acknowledged it in nouns also that is was used with singular, am with I, am is always used with I and only I. Are for plural, again was for singular, were for plural and being and being are the forms of be. So, here and this have, have has, has, have and had, these are the forms of have. So now the verbs be and have can be used both as main verbs and helping verbs. So we have studied about the different forms of the verbs in the previous slides that is am, are, was, were, been, being, has, have and had. So here they can be used both as a main verb and an helping verb. Let's see how they are used as a main verb and helping verb. In first sentence that is she is an intelligent girl. In this sentence there is only one verb that is is and we are not seeing anything anything except is. Any, there is no verb except is. So is will be categorized as the main verb because there is no any there is no other verb used in this sentence. But as you can see in this sentence, she is going to market. So here the action verb is going and is is the used as the helping verb. The main verb would be the action that is representing the action that is going and is would be the helping verb. So in this sentence is is the main verb and in this sentence in the second sentence is is the helping verb. So same goes with have also. She has a beautiful purse. Here has is the help main verb and here she has done her work. Here has is the helping verb because it is coming with the action verb. So now the next topic is subject verb agreement. We will see in this topic we will be seeing how the subject is followed by the verb and how it agrees, how they have, how their relationship states. So here if the subject in a sentence is singular, if the subject of the sentence is singular then what will happen? Let's look. 
So first example is he plays football. Here the subject is he that is singular and it is followed by the direct verb that is the main verb and in between there is no helping verb being used. So if we are using the subject after the, after the main verb that is directly the main verb only then the verb would be plural. But in this sentence as you can see he is playing cricket. So in this sentence we are using is and you must be thinking is is used with singular subject right is always comes with singular but now here you can see as I told you in this concept that uh, if the subject is singular then the verb should be plural but here if the subject is singular then the verb should also be singular. Why? Because there is more than one verb and th the main verb is not being directly followed by the subject that is why. Second, if the subject in a sentence is plural, then what will happen? Let's see. Let's look at the example. The students study in the class. So in this sentence, the students is the subject which is plural and it is followed directly by the main verb. So if, it, if the plural subject is directly followed by the main verb, then the verb would be singular. That is vice versa. If the subject was singular, then the direct main verb after the, that is directly the main verb is there, then that was plural. And here if the subject is plural, then the verb is singular. But as you can see in this sentence, the students are studying in the class. So here you can see the subject that is plural, which is, it is not being followed directly by the main verb that is the action verb. So here in between there is a helping verb and as you all know R comes with plural. So here it is students are studying in the class. If the subject in a sentence are you and I, if the subjects are you and I then what will happen? If you and I are there then if we are using it with the be form of the verb and have form of the verb then it should be plural as we know are is plural have is plural so you and i though they are singular but we are we will be using are and have with it so you are really very pretty and i have your purse but as you can see in these two sentences if you is followed directly by the main verb then the verb would be singular and same goes with i i play piano very well Let's look at the exercise, it's on page number 20, please open it. Exercise number A, complete each sentence choosing the correct verb from the strip. So here you can see you have to do is, you have to fill the blanks according to the words given in this strip. There dash a bathtub in the hotel room. So there is only one bathtub, that is the only one bathtub is there and we are talking about only one bathtub. So either is will be used or was will be used. But, but as in the strip there is no, no option given as is. So we will be using was. So there was a bathtub in the hotel room. Second, where dash you kept my cap. So here the subject is you and with you we use the be form, the plural be forms and have forms of the verb. So here it will come have. Where have you kept my cap? So rest will be done like this only. Question number B. Circle the subject in each sentence and tick correct the correct verb of the ones given in brackets. First, the people in my neighborhood is or are very helpful. So what you have to do is you have to choose the correct form of the verb which will be used here. So the people in my neighborhood, the, the, the subject is plural. So with that we will we'll be using are very helpful. Second, the plants in the garden need or needs to be watered. So what would be the answer over here is need because vice versa relationship we will be using. So answer would be need. The plants in the garden need to be watered. So the next topic that we, we will be doing is types of verbs. So verbs are of two types, transitive verb and intransitive verbs. So let's study it one by one. First, transitive verb. 
this type of verb requires an object to complete its sense so this type of verb is they always takes an object to complete its meaning like if you have to find out the transitive verb what you have to do is i will tell you a trick but first look at this example she took the keys with herself you must be thinking what is the object object in a sentence is the is the action that is received by the verb so that is the object so here the verb is took and what is being took what is being taken that is the keys so the keys is the object over here so she took the keys with herself so this sentence is incomplete without this so if we will be saying she took so that is an incomplete sentence and that is not giving a complete meaning to us then it would be it would not be categorized as transitive verb but if it is joined by the keys with herself then it would be a transitive verb because we are getting the object over here and if you have to find out the object then what you have to do is you have to question like this she took what she took the keys and if you are getting the answer of what then it would be transitive verb next in transitive verbs this type of verb does not require any object to make a sentence example as you can see this type of verbs and uh, this type of verb does not require any object to complete its meaning so she wakes up early in the morning here there is no object being used there is no object being used then too it is completing its meaning then too it is giving a complete meaning to us so here she wakes up wakes up it is an intransitive verbs so now let's look at the exercise state whether the verbs in red are transitive or intransitive the book seller sold some books to the boy you have to tell whether the red words given are transitive verb or intransitive verb so here the book seller is selling what some books so we are getting an answer so sold will be the transitive verb so now second sentence the little boy cried when his toy broke so little boy cried for what for his toy which is broken so that is an intransitive verb so rest will be done like this only i hope you all have understood this chapter nicely and i stay fit stay at your home and thank you for watching this video